I don't want to get too close because I'm getting the top part of the the Tonopah Cemetery sign. So, welcome guys, part two of our investigation. We're here in the Tonopah Cemetery. It was uh, open from 1901 to 1911. Uh, we were here earlier this morning. We did like a little walk around. Got a lot of activity with the Spirit Talker app. Um, like as soon as we walked in their room, we just started spouting off stuff. Um, got the digital recorder with me. I've got my flashlight. Of course, we got the light from the camera, which should be fine. Um, I got the Spirit Talker app if you need it. And then I got three of the cat balls. My favorite of the cat balls. Maybe we'll back by that sheriff's grave where you heard those footsteps. Maybe okay. we'll go back there and set them up around and see what happens. Okay. Now we should be fine with these lights as long as I don't follow them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you should just be able to look through the camera for the most part. So, like I said, a lot of these graves that we've seen earlier today, um, a lot of them that were buried here died of ammonia. Back then it was called the Tonopah Plague um, because they didn't know what it was until years later. Um, some died in mining accidents. Uh, there are a few out here that died in the, um, the Belmont fire. And um, it's said that one of the guys was buried out here. Uh, what did he do? Rescue 17 people? Mm -hmm. And then he succumbed to his, his injuries, which is probably more or less smoke inhalation. And then there are infants buried out here in the cemetery and then there are also there are some that are um, took their own lives so this cemetery like what they you see on ghost adventures or some i mean it doesn't do it any justice this place is huge i mean i know it's kind of hard to tell but it stretches way back beyond where that little light is back there and then up over this little hump over here next to this trailer park. And then we also found out that some of the um, Chinese workers um, were buried here and weren't allowed to be buried in the cemetery. And they actually buried them on the other side of the fence, but there's no graves marking them. So this is a first for me. I've never investigated a graveyard before, so. See what happens here. You want to just turn the app on on your phone and just walk around until we get something? Yeah. Right you want to go back to the spirit talker? Yeah. Okay. My suggestion would be next time use Bluetooth headphones with this thing. That way it picks up your voice more than the background. What do you mean? like you can connect Bluetooth headphones that you can speak through. Like, you know, the ones that you use for phone calls. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like my blue pair would do it. Voice. Is that good about your own voice or our voice? See, here's one of the ones that died. That explained <laughs> died in the, the, the Belmont fire and it doesn't have an age on it. Um, here's another one, age 31, who died in the Belmont fire February 23rd, 1911. Trying to talk to us? Can you do us one better since there's a lot of contamination out here? What we mean by contamination is 
the interstates behind us, so we're going to pick up a lot of that. Um, can you show us? Can you come out here and can you manifest yourself? You know, the guy was giving the ghost tour last night said that um, they caught an apparition of a child, but it was from the waist down. It was behind one of these headstones and then he just disappeared. Child is nine months old, died playing with a friend. Mm. Is that it? Yeah. What did it say? It says battle here. Battle here? Well, because remember some of the ones that were out here were the Civil War. Oh, and yep. then the other ones were in the. Uh, what was it, the Indian? I can't remember exactly what it was. Something like the Indian War. I know I got the phrasing wrong, but... Side. Side? Are you bored? Or are you tired? Oh, yeah. So this guy right here. Uh, age 40, died November 6, 1906. He fell down a mine at the Bell, Bell Helen and was blown up by dynamite. So yeah, like a lot of these graves, they actually tell you how the person that's buried there died. This one here died of a uh, liver complaint. And then another one died of ammonia. So we saw a lot of these today that they passed away from ammonia. So I don't, it's over what? The Big Bangs. The Big Bangs? Anyways, I don't know if the camera can see it or caught it, but the light on the grave over there, uh -huh. like straight out, okay. next to, nope, okay. look, turn around, look. There you go. The small little lantern up there. Uh -huh. Yep, something walked in front of it. It went out and then it came back on. Like someone walked in front of it. Oh, this is that one. Uh, Ellen A. O'Brien. Stabbed by the husband with a miner's candle holder. And then her daughter was buried. This grave right over here. Look at this shit. What did it say? Can you find my grave? What's your name? And then this one is right here. And this one's. Uh, nope, it's one over. Is it? Yep. Because that one says murdered. Yep, it's this. this oh, one? yeah. Yeah. Uh, pass for typhoid fever. 
mother was Ellen O'Brien. So the mother, the, the child passed away on September 23rd and mom was murdered, what? You said five months, six months later? Mom was murdered. May 18th, 1906. So eight months later? Mm -hmm. You want to head over that way where you saw it? We can. That's where I heard the footsteps earlier, too. Oh, that's where you're walking. Mm hmm. Did you walk this way back? Huh? So did he walk this far back during the tour? He did, didn't he? The, the really lit up one? That has the Kate, the thing around it. That's the sheriff. That's the sheriff. So yeah, we did. Yep. Yeah. Nope, definitely not. Mm -hmm. It was uh, that light right back there. No, not the main one, that's the sheriff. The one right, like the only one with the light other than the sheriff's that way. There's something out here, something like a bird or something like that. Oh, chirping. Um, this way. This way. This is the path. Okay. Do you want to go to the sheriff's grave first or over to that light that I seen? Yeah, let's go to the light where you seen. see that I don't know if you caught it but watched. right exactly watched right on the other side of that grave right over here what? you know how you saw something go mm -hmm. by I just saw something cut that light out mm -hmm. but it was a full-blown apparition that's that's what I seen earlier let's keep going towards that And it can also be cut out. I know you don't like editing. Yeah, pretty much. Around. We gotta edit some. See, like, these are here are graves. No, yeah, these are here are graves. Oh, no, I, yeah, I like this. Now, see, we didn't visit this one earlier. Uh huh. So this is the one that Anthony and I both just seen. The little light, yeah. like someone walked, almost like someone walked in front of it. This guy was a veteran in the Civil War. Civil War veteran. Sad because no one comes and visits. Maybe all your family's passed away, so there's no one to, to come and. I'm alone here. Well, we're here. We're here to visit and kind of talk and trying to communicate with you. See, that was crazy. I've never seen something like that. It's even weird because it's in the cemetery. Now, if I hear some blood curling screams, I know they're gonna be. <laughs> You're going to be catching your iPad. You realize that, right?
This is on Whitney. Um, heard the footsteps and kind of like what shuffling through the gravel. Mm -hmm. So let's do this. And honestly, with where we were, it could have been his grave too. Like it was in this area. Are those the two spots you're putting them? Yeah. Okay. I got a third one, but hold on. Whoa. It's not even pressed. What's going on? It's not even pressed? No. Like it's not even turned on? I don't think it is. You can see the top of it, though. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe it was. <laughs> Go figure. We're not nervous. Can you do us a favor if you're if you're here with us? Can you come out and make either one of those cat balls go off? Or if you're the apparition that we've seen, can you come make them come off? Make them come off. Make them go off. Bug. It's a shame that you think it's so close to the road like that. Mm -hmm. The grave. Oh, yeah, no, please don't do that. I'll do my best to do a, an EVP session out here. Might be best to wait just a minute. Seems like the traffic comes in waves. This is Thomas Logan, born May 29th, 1861. Yes, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Died April 6, 1906. Hurry up and go by car. Sheriff Logan, if this is you, can you touch one of the balls that's on either side of your grave and make the lights go off? Burial. Yes, we're at your burial ground. We're here to say hi and give you a chance to adventure. talk to us and interact. We are on a we are on an adventure. Are you on an adventure? Can you talk to us through this digital recorder right here and let us know that you're you're here? They say that you were really popular with the uh, the town folk, but uh, not so much with your wife. Four kids, six Four kids. Four kids. It was his wife that killed him, though, wasn't it? No. No. They called him. Oh, that's um, when he got shot in the. They called him for help at the brothel with yeah. a unruly uh, John, and he Lungs. was groggy Lungs. when. Lungs. He was a groggy when he woke up, whenever they woke him up to call him. And so he just put on his bathrobe, forgot his gun, and he, and he went down to the um, the saloon where the upset was. And he ended up getting shot by the bad guy. And then the piano man that was there shot the guy that shot the sheriff. And so he got away with murder because it was considered self defense protecting the sheriff. And Sheriff Logan, unfortunately, found his demise at that time. And his six children and his wife did not like that um, he visited the brothel. And we learned all of this during the ghost tour uh, with our wonderful guide who has taken the time to look up a bunch of history. So, Sheriff Logan, if you're here, if you did like to partake with the women in the brothel. Can you make one of these cat balls light up? 
Or better yet, can, can you confirm your story? A man here. A man here. Can, can you confirm the story of you getting gunned down and the piano man avenging your death? Yep, car in the parking lot. There's nothing. All the windows are pretty quiet. Mm-hmm. I wonder if we took them over next to that other grave. Which one? The Civil War one. Where we both oh. seen that light go out. With that apparition. Mm-hmm. Well. Sheriff Logan, thank you for allowing us to come over here and talk to you. Hopefully your, your death has been a restful one, peaceful here in the cemetery. It looks like plenty of people come out and visit. Funny. Funny? Because he received a, he received, he was a recipient in 2011 of the Medal of Valor in Purple Heart for the Nye County Sheriff's Office. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's, yeah, the one with the light. Is that the sheriff? that we're talking to? I don't know. Is yeah. this Sheriff Logan that we're talking to? I don't like how that ground just felt when we walked on it. What happened? Oh, just the ground. the ground. Yeah, it's super soft. The way it's soft and sunk in. There's no markings of a grave. Oh. You know. Super soft. You see me. Yeah, we did see you, and that's why we're up here. I think we've seen you twice, actually. Is there a reason why you brought us back here to this part of the cemetery? Is there anything you'd like to, to tell us? So, did you die in the Civil War? Or perhaps it was just you died of natural causes. And it was just posted on here that you served in the Civil War. I can't help but feel like someone's watching. Yeah. Uh huh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yep, I've been feeling it too. Can you make either one of those cat balls light up for us, please? If that was you that we seen, can you make one of those balls light up? All you have to do is go over and just kind of touch it a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's nothing that's, it's nothing that's going to hurt you. It's Viking. Viking. I don't think there were any Vikings buried in the cemetery. I could be wrong. Bug. Mm -hmm. That's a big bug. Mm -hmm. Get away, bug. Big, big bug. He's on the light. 
demon spawn and get off the light. Okay, Mr. Charlton. Thank you for showing yourself to us. We're going to take our cat balls and leave now. This is your last chance to touch them and play with them. We'll be walking away from your grave. Mirror. Mirrors? We don't have any mirrors, but what we do have is a camera and a big light. That's a weird name. Glennis? Glennis? I have no idea what that is. It could be a name. Could be. It's an odd name. It's spelled differently. Is Glennis the, the name of your wife? Or perhaps daughter? I'm getting lots of cold chills. It's kind of cold outside. I know. That's why I'm like, okay. I don't know if it's that or what. But. I'm going to pick these up now. Thank you for taking the time. And allowing us to come. The heck? Set these over here. Anthony, I just caught something moving in the corner of the lot back there. Okay. Like, back here in these graves. I was like this, and I turned, and it was moving. I don't sure if I'm going that way. I'm always the one that likes to head towards the thing. <sighs> yes, you are. I'll just remind you. You promise no provoking. No provoking. You got that, that was the, you got that name on the, uh, the hotel. Uh-huh. We asked if, if she had a grave out here. Mm -hmm. Are you buried out here, Sarah? <laughs> we know we named, we know we got the name of Alice uh, earlier this morning, and we were actually by we a grave that was, that way. her name was Alice. We're too far up, I think, for our path. Hmm? I think we're too far up for our path down that we're supposed to be taking. No, we can go through here. Excuse us. Excuse us. I don't like that. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, shoot. What? Dixie Breed. Age five months, died November 16th, 1911. Swallowed a pacifier. He said there was one out here that mm -hmm. was swallowing a pacifier. Right here. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. It's a baby, baby. I figured it had to be a baby because the size of the rocks. How do you swallow a pacifier? I don't know. Um, my name is Fred. How are you doing, Fred? This is George. Uh, cool. what name did he say? Fred. No. Is that not Fred? What does that say? It's four letters. No, there. No way. Is it? Fred Sayers. It's Fred. Lungs. Hi, Fred. So, for people that say this app is BS, app is not BS. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you, Fred. That was crazy. Well, as soon as it said Fred, I started looking. I was like, well, there's George. And then I turned and I'm like, nope, that's not. I'm like, no way. <laughs> and it said lungs, so he could have died of pneumonia. He could have, because that's one that doesn't say. Yeah. There's not very many that doesn't say. That was cool. <laughs> Thank you for talking to us, Fred. Mm -hmm. I see the, a lot of the ones that are over here, the, the, oh, maybe it was the child uh, apparition. Maybe. Because this is the infant part of the maybe. cemetery. So this is the infants where all the infants are buried. We got that earlier too. Yeah. Oh, this one is this one's the National Guard, but he died of ammonia. Here. Here. 
his. What? Said his. His what? No, I just said his. His? His. H I S. H I S. His. But I heard something like next to me. Oh. That's why I was like, whoa. I was looking the other direction too. Again. <laughs> we get lots of lungs. There's lots of death by pneumonia here. Lots of deaths by pneumonia. Yeah, this is the one that um, had an unfortunate accident when playing with a friend. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The nine month old accident while playing with friend. Yeah. Lungs. Lungs again. Again. Dude, was that that's what the third or fourth time tonight? Yeah. That doesn't. The man attacks people. The man attacks people. What man? Is there a man out here that likes to come up and attack people out in the graveyard? What's this one say? I'll get back to it in just a minute. Music. Music. What kind of music? Archie Page is all it says. Yeah, it says rest in peace. Rest in peace, Archie. What kind of music? What kind of music? Nine months of age. We will be family again. Our baby, Lyndon Hargrove, died June 31st, 1907. And we definitely don't mean any disrespect or anything coming out here. Walking on any of the graves that are desecrating or, graves or yeah, headstones. Like no. There's a lot of history out here. Hunt. Huh? Did you like to hunt, John? John McNamara. I'm getting a bad feeling. Close. Close. Did you hear me? Yeah. Is that okay? I like that one. I like that little one tree. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that was the one. Ashes. I just. Ashes. Hmm. Like this one here is not even. But look at the artwork. I mean, the craftsmanship that went into that headstone. There's no name or anything like that. It's just... Yeah. Jones. Oh, did you hear that? Jones? No, I heard, like, something in the brush. I heard an owl hoot. Woo-hoo! Me. <laughs> yeah, I heard an owl hoot. Yeah, no, I just keep on getting, Tom. like... Um, feelings of being watched. And like it said, hunted. Are we still on the path? Mm -hmm. There's a light blinking on here that wasn't before. Oh, it's oh, it's probably getting ready to die. Okay. This way. 
I had a long life. Yeah. Her light's getting ready to die. It's okay, I'm gonna go see. I'm good footage. I'm gonna have to watch it and see if they got any of the apparitions. So, if you guys are ever out... I'll and, prove I'm here. Yeah? What can you do to prove that you're here? If you guys are ever out here in Tonopah, mm -hmm. uh, definitely come out here to the, uh, the Clown Motel. And then definitely visit the cemetery, because the cemetery is really nice. And it's very neat how they've got it done and how a bunch of the nameplates are. And it's pretty well taken care of too. Mm -hmm. Like I think we only seen a few graves Glenn. back up that way. That were you hear footsteps? You heard footsteps, right? Well at first it sounded kinda like a you know how a walkie talkie goes off? Oh like, like a yeah, it kind of sounded like that. And then it sounded like gravels. And then it was the walkie-talkie thing again. Except, except, expecting to see someone walking up there. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's that one headstone there. It's busted. It's smashed. This guy died at the age of 33 from Switzerland. Hmm. I think what we'll do is before we go in, after we shut everything off, we'll I move things. I move things. Uh, we'll take some pictures. Okay. Again. Lungs again. Lungs. Take pictures of what? Am I alive? Am I alive? No, I'm sorry, you're not. You're the not. devil is real. The devil is real. The devil is real. It went away. Yeah, who is in the clown motel? Tony Ben. Outside. Outside? We are outside. Yeah. But like I said, guys, if you ever get a chance, you and Tonopah, definitely, definitely. What are you doing? We're making a video about you. What are you doing? Is that here chilling? Chilling in the cemetery? I'm beside you. There was footsteps back here. I said it's beside me. There was footsteps back here. Yeah? No. Nope. It's getting really active right now. It is. Trying to walk up on us? Let me uh, film this outro real quick and then shut everything off. Um, so I just want to thank you guys for tuning into the channel. Hopefully, we'll get some more um, content out there to you. I know it's been a, a hot Lisa. minute. Lisa. I know it's been a hot minute, but uh, if you haven't subscribed and you're watching, um, please subscribe to uh, my channel, Our Bad Paranormal Spirit's Oasis. Here. Bad Spirits here. Um, we're going to actually probably end Camera. up... Camera. Camera. Uh, we're probably actually going to take some... Comedy. I thought I'd like to be funny. Obviously, so do you. And this thing is just going crazy. Um, passed peacefully. Ooh, and the light went out. Yep. So, anyways, uh, subscribe, Our Paranormal Oasis. Look me up on TikTok. Same name, Our Paranormal Oasis. And uh, hopefully we'll get this video up in the next week or so. Uh, we have a really busy month. Uh, not just doing this, but with, um, with other things. Uh, the next location we're going to try to go to is Pyramid Lake and check out the, um, what do you want to call it, the rumor, the, uh, damn it, I'm drawing a blank here, what do you call it, 
the folklores. The folklores of the water babies. So we're going to go out there and possibly do that on Saturday the 14th. Um, thank you. Uh, hope we got some good stuff. Unfinished business. Unfinished business. And uh, we'll catch you next time. So, uh, stomach problems. Stomach problems. They gotta use the bathroom. Uh, my name is Charles. Thank you, Charles. We passed by Charles earlier. Mm hmm. We looked at his grave. Stomach problem. Was that the one that had the liver Maybe. complaint? Could be. I don't remember. So, we're gonna go. This thing is still going crazy. Uh, we lost our light. Like I said, Tom Motel, Tonopah, Tonopah Cemetery. Definitely want to check it out. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.